430 mentally exhausting days, 75 outstanding players, 5 incredible seasons. Since the fall of 2012, Survivor Maryland has been led and hosted by Austin. However, in the spring of 2016, everything has changed. A new season, new players, and an all new host. Here at College Park at the University of Maryland, 19 fearless turfs are about to have the experience of a lifetime. Alliances will form. Tears will be shed. And the battle for the next Soul Survivor has begun. I'm Anders, and this is Survivor Maryland. New beginning. 79 days, 19 people, one Survivor. Uh, my name is Dylan Selps and I'm a sophomore. I am a uh, physiology and neurobiology major. I showed up maybe 20 minutes early. Nobody else was there. Uh, kind of freaked me out a little bit. I was wondering am I even in the right place. Uh, you're the second one here. I'm Randa Neal. I'm a Big Big Brother fan and my sister Shannon was on the past two seasons. She didn't make the best move. She like set an example of ways to blow up your own game. I was the second one there, so I think I kind of like had an advantage in that way because I got to see like the order that everyone came in. The day before the first meet, I had a dodgeball game. When I showed up to dodgeball, I met Alex and she got to meet me. And it wasn't until Alex came over that she was like, oh, is that them? We should go sit down. And I was like, okay. So my thoughts in my head were like, okay, I'm not alone in this. Hi, my name is Emily. I'm a senior. I'm a dietetic student, so I'm studying to become a registered dietitian. Hi. 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 I'm not great with small talk, so I, it was really kind of out of my comfort zone to talk about, you know, kind of come up with things to say that were just like with strangers that I didn't know. Um, but I think it went pretty well because I knew that that was a really critical moment because I know I definitely made judgments about people in that first couple minutes um, and I'm sure people made judgments about me so it's just really important so I knew it was like it was a lot of pressure. I was extremely nervous first showing up to the bench I didn't really know what to expect everyone was just talking I was just kind of sitting there quietly because I didn't feel very well so it was a pretty nerve-wracking experience. Hi my name is Shana that's all I have to say. I don't like those like group settings, I don't know. They're all taught like when you're just like making weird small talk with people. Are you standing? Hmm? Are you gonna you stand? Can... Yeah. I'm either, so I'm sorry. Shayna, she's like a little bit standoffish. Hi, I'm Faith. Um, I'm a freshman, so I'm one of the youngest like contestants. Like I wasn't expecting so many older people, so I was like, oh okay. So I just kinda like you know, tried to put myself out there as much as possible so they could see like, who I was as quickly as possible. I just remember like showing up the first day of my school and looking at it. Yeah, I went to a, when I was in San Francisco, I went to a school of like a hundred people, like a very small school. As so I show up to like my 2,500 person public school and I'm like, <laughs> God, <I can't> <laughs> this. Uh, the best first impression that was made on me is Alex. I really liked Alex from the beginning. Uh, she seemed really friendly. Uh, I really like that. She has a forward personality. She's very extroverted. I find myself to be very extroverted. She's kind of taking control of the conversation, uh, which I kind of like. She's the kind of person I want to work with, so hopefully uh, down the road I do get the opportunity to work with her. My name is Abel. I definitely like, I think I'm a pretty easygoing person. I'm a personal trainer. People don't actually expect that at all because of my size. Just because I'm five, six and a half. A half. Say five, seven, but just because I'm that short doesn't mean I'm not as strong as people think. Um, I had very mixed reviews when I like saw the entire cast. It was definitely not what I expected. It was like a very wide variety of people. Okay, I'm Tony. Um, I'm a senior bio major, and I like the the Cleveland Browns. I like the Cleveland Cavaliers, and I'm just a fan of Cleveland sports in general. 
Oh, wow. Hit ride with Jaguar from Spirit Animal. Oh, wow. You know who wants to fuck with a Jaguar? <laughs> <laughs> and definitely my favorite animal is like dogs. I'm a dog person. My spirit animal is probably a dog. And um, I like pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Tony? Oh, he was he was a weird guy. He was like doing it on purpose because he knew that first impressions are important and he wanted to be like the weird guy out of the group and like get attention. But you know, it also made him an outsider. Tony, I couldn't really figure him out at first. Yeah, I just thought it was a little bit much. And then he had to use the bathroom three times and that was a little sketchy considering he wasn't drinking water. The, uh, the comment I made is really just to let people know, you know, um, you know what tribe I play for. Uh, I like pussy, so I think it's important that people know that. Um, you know, in case you know any female members want to be more than just allies. I showed up late to the first challenge. I came in and I think that when I came in. Everybody just had finished doing the icebreaker, so I came in and everybody was looking at me. He's got a lot of okay. <laughs> right, Go for it. I mean, <laughs> just <laughs> <laughs> Alright, a new season is here, the game has begun. Once all 19 have arrived, you may start having fun. I'm hidden on campus, just follow these clues. Your fate in this game is up to you to choose. One tribe together, walk as a group where you could meet your end. The people all around you could be your foe or your friend. Though 19 start out, look around and knowledge you shall obtain. By sundown, look around and 18 will remain. First impressions are important, so do your best to impress. This first challenge will put your personality to the test. This game's starting now. It's not all fun and game. That bit of euphoria is gone. It's it's real now. <laughs> How you guys doing? <laughs> Alright. Oh, awesome. Can you bring me that torch? Yeah, they just have to report. You got it. You got it. Good luck. That was a problem. Well, whatever. Um, alright. So, guys, there's a prize here waiting for you. Here we go. It was kind of funny because I was joking with somebody. I forget who it was. But like we had woken up late and not eaten breakfast, so we were like joking. We were like, "Oh, that'd be like awesome if like there was food there." And then there was food there, so we got super excited. Like I turned around and like looked at him. I was like, "Yeah, like this is awesome." Well, got some bad news because, as the note said, at the end of the day, only 18 of you will remain. Which means right now, you guys are gonna vote someone out. And then the very next sentence, you were like, "Okay, now you have to vote someone out." And like immediately, like I wasn't hungry anymore. I was just like, oh my god, like my stomach dropped. Like, is this really happening? This is going to be based on your own first impressions. I'm going to give each of you a piece of paper and a pen. You get to vote someone out just like that. I mean, we really only had like an hour or so, hour and a half to really kind of get to know each other. So, and I, I guess the scariest part was you don't want to be the first one to be voted out. Okay. And then once you have voted, you're going to hold it in your hand, and one by one, you're going to read it out loud. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> so, I guess I forgot to mention it before. Welcome to Survivor Season 6! <laughs> <laughs> Alright!